Chancellor, Senior Deputy Vice-Chancellor, members of Senate, distinguished guests, members of staff, graduates, and their guests. I'm deeply honored and humbled to have been asked to give this valedictory address. This address serves as a farewell for many of today's graduates to the University of Western Australia. I aim to reflect on my own experience at UWA, an experience which hopefully, to some extent, mirrors that of my fellow graduates. Before I do so, however, I would like to sincerely thank the university for allowing us the opportunity to gather here today to mark, for numerous graduates, the culmination of many years of study and research. In these challenging and unique times, where for the best of reasons events are cancelled, the university chose to postpone, rather than cancel, these presentation ceremonies to such a time that we can safely and responsibly gather and celebrate together. My own experience at UWA began in mid-2019, when I first contacted the university to see whether I would be able to undertake a full-time Masters of Education in 2020. Keeping my options open, I also contacted Curtin and Murdoch universities. I have significant experience in military aviation and flying instruction, and had been offered a sabbatical from the Air Force to study contemporary civilian education practice and policy. Notably, I did not have the prerequisite teaching experience or qualification for the masters. This resulted in a flat refusal from both Curtin and Murdoch. UWA was completely different. I must acknowledge Professor Tom O'Donoghue from the Graduate School of Education, who warmly welcomed me to the course, reflecting a willingness on his part and the broader faculty to have different voices and experience in their postgraduate courses. I believe this also speaks volumes for UWA as a whole. What did I find on the course? I found great delight in working with highly motivated students and teaching staff who have a passion for education. Teaching staff who could challenge us students, inform and inspire us to look more broadly and deeply into many aspects of educational leadership, policy, curriculum development, both here and abroad. I also found new friends, and I'm sure I speak for all graduates, that the friends we made here not only provided great help and support to us whilst at work, but also joy and fun at play beyond the university walls. These friends will become friends for life. I have to mention COVID. We are the pandemic graduates. For much of last year, we studied alone. We Zoomed and we teamed. Like so many organizations, UWA was confronted with an unforeseen and unimaginable challenge. Each of the graduates will have formed their own view on the university's response. My own is that the teaching staff responded incredibly well in attempting to keep education and learning front and center. I also believe that having the Guild President and Vice-Chancellor co-author messages kept us as well informed as possible. I'm sure there will be many lessons from COVID, but importantly, I believe the exception must not become the norm. Technology is vital, useful, and an adjunct to, but not a replacement for face-to-face -face learning. University life is so much more than looking at an online lecture or attending a Zoom tutorial. I believe that any university may be defined by the relationships between lecturers, researchers, and students. To build these relationships, we have to get to know each other. And this, like in all human interaction, is best done in person, face to face. Finally, back to the graduates for today is really about us. This ceremony allows us a moment of reflection and pride for what we have achieved and to look back on the countless hours of study, research, and of course, referencing that has got us to this point.
It also allows us to thank those who are closest to us, our families and friends who have provided so support, and I'm sure for many of you, food, water and lodging over a number of years. As we have heard, the university's motto is to seek wisdom. This implies an ongoing obligation on us to never cease to be curious and to commit to both lifetime learning and to excel in our chosen pathways. On behalf of us all, I sincerely thank the University of Western Australia for equipping us so well for this challenge. Thank you.